Hello everyone, welcome back to the top 10 most awesome channel. Every child loves drawing and painting. However, sometimes the results aren't exactly masterpieces. Perhaps your child just needs another method of expressing themselves? If you think the answer to that is yes, then it's time to encourage your kids to experiment with different techniques. We're sure there's something out there that could become their new favorite choice. So get ready to see your little artist to try something new. We made a list of the top 10 awesome painting tricks available for kids to try. Make sure you and your kid try the top most easiest drawing technique by watching the video till the end. Number 10. Using your hands and feet. This technique is really quite simple, all your child has to do is dip their hand or foot into some paint and make an imprint on the paper. Then use the power of their and your imagination to add some details. This will help your lad in learning the basics of shapes and the kid will be able to recognize the concept of how shape works. Isn't it easy and amazing? Draw around fingers, thumbs, hands, toes or feet. Hand and fingerprints can be made with paint too. Once the images are done, personalize pages with names or messages for family and friends and tear them out to be given as gifts or just stuck on the wall and they have a space for the child's age to be added to make a personal record. You can go from reindeer with handprint antlers to footprint ghosts and from jellyfish thumbs to finger space rockets. There are whole families of toes too. Help the child to know what to do, whether to draw around or print with their hands, fingers, thumbs, toes, or feet. Number 9. Turning blobs of paint into a work of art. This art can be a stress-free, creative outlet for your artistic energy, but it's also a technique that can produce breathtaking masterpieces full of emotion and movement. Whatever your end goal, learning the basics of how to make paint splatter art is easy. Equipped with paint, brushes, a surface of some sort, a canvas, wall, or even a piece of clothing and a basic understanding of splatter paint techniques, you can get started with this form of abstract art. There are two variants of this technique. If you choose the first one, put some paint onto a sheet of paper and gently turn the paper from side to side with your hands to turn a formless blob into an image. The second variant is a bit different. Your child needs to dip a brush into some paint, then makes a blob on the paper, and fold it to make an imprint on both sides. Then they need to unfold the paper and try to figure out what the image looks like. Number 8. Patterns on paint. This is an amazing and mess-free way to introduce your kid with the painting world. For this one, cover sheets of paper with thick layers of different colored paint. Then use the opposite side of the brush to scratch various lines and flourishes out of the colored paper. When the patterns dry, cut them out and glue them onto thick paper. Of course, this shape artwork takes just a few basic supplies. Honestly, if you had nothing more than printer paper and crayons, you could make a version of this project. I think the best crafts also teach of course, in my opinion, every craft has something to teach our kids, but this one happens to be a little more academic than most. It is an interactive way to teach shapes, colors, and sizes. And then we just add a little imagination to make this amazing fun with shapes artwork. Make sure you are there when your child is using scissors, as the only part critical in this technique is using sharp tools to cut the shapes. Number 7. Cardboard Stamps we love to recycle whatever we can and so reusing some of the toilet rolls and turning them into painting stamps was going to be perfect for this activity. You could easily keep them circular in shape, however, you can mold them with my hands into various basic shapes. This added an extra educational dimension to this activity and would help the child boost knowledge of shapes and colors. Painting with the shape stamps we talked about colors and what else we knew that had those colors. Also casually highlight the basic characteristics of each shape, such as the sides and corners your child will love it. The steps are. Cut some cardboard into small strips, each 1.5 by 3 cm. Then dip one side of each piece of cardboard into some paint, hold it vertically over the paper and pull it across in a sideways direction. You will get wide lines that can form a basis for a really unusual image. Number 6. Self-rising paints. Self-rising flour contains baking powder, which is a leavening agent used in many foods to help rise such as bread, cake, and other baked items. Baking powder has four main components, bicarbonate soda has lots of CO2 locked up in it, cream of tartar is the acidifying agent, lowers the pH of a substance, calcium aluminum phosphate is another acidifying agent, starch is the drying agent, removes water from a substance. It is usually mixed into baking powder because it keeps the baking powder from reacting too early. Mixing the self-rising flour and water together results in carbon dioxide, CO2, being released, the cream of tartar in the baking powder and salt increase the amount of carbon dioxide produced. To make this paint, mix a tablespoon of self-rising flour, 
several drops of food coloring, and a tablespoon of salt. Add some water and stir the mixture until it has the consistency of cream. Then place the paint onto some icing piper. For this technique you can use either paper or cardboard. When the image is ready, put it into a microwave oven for 10 to 30 seconds at full capacity, and the artistic piece is ready. Before moving further to the more artistic yet easy painting tricks please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to see more such videos as we post them. Moving ahead to Number 5. Scratchboard. Creating scratchboard art is similar to the methods used for pen and ink. With pen and ink you apply black ink to white paper, using a variety of dots, strokes and hatching. With scratchboard, you use a white board that's covered with black ink and use a small scratch tool or knife to itch into it, revealing the white. It's like like drawing in reverse. How many of you remember creating similar works of art using crayons as a child? As the name suggests, this method involves scratching an image. A sheet of cardboard should be shaded with spots using multicolored oil pastels. Then use a palette to mix black gouache paint with soap and cover all the outline with this mixture. When the paint is completely dry, use a toothpick to scratch whatever image into it that you like. This way you will magically reappear your painting, Nice right? Number 4. Marble Paper Wondering how to marble paper? Here's a marbling technique that is easy, fun, and kid-friendly. Plus the results are beautiful. This one is my personal favorite and quite easy one. Cover a sheet of paper with yellow acrylic paint. When it's completely dry, add a layer of diluted pink paint and cover the image with plastic food wrap. Then purposefully wrinkle up the food wrap to make marble-like patterns. When the paper is dry, take off the wrap. Amazing part is you don't know exact outcome, but each one would be amazing all the time. Take one look at its stone-like or curlicue effects and it's easy to see why. A variety of methods produce marbled paper. Use your marbled paper for cards, gift wrap, or place it in a frame for one-of-a-kind art. Marbled paper require adult supervision, but they are super easy. In fact, this is a great art activity for the whole family. Toddlers through adults can all try their hand at marble paper science. Number 3. The Cracked Wax Effect Resist art is really the most magical of all art activities for younger kids. They are completely surprised by the resist factor of the entire activity and the very first time you do a particular resist art project with the kids, they will be enamored. It happened when we did our super old activity, animal image resist painting, and more recently, our crayon resist spider webs for Halloween. Use wax pencils to make an image on a sheet of thin paper. Maybe a flower. All of the background should be crosshatched. First crumple up the paper and then smooth it out again. Then cover the whole piece of paper with dark paint. Rinse the drawing with water and let it dry. You can also try ironing it. Did you see the paint get into the cracks and kinda create a cool batik design? The back of the artwork is just as gorgeous. Alternatively, you can skip the kids paint and go for regular watercolor paints. With watercolor paints, you don't have to wash off the paint. Number 2. Monotyping. Monotype is a quick and simple printmaking process. Technically, only one impression is made with a monotype, so the work you create is a unique work on paper, although there is often the ability to create ghost prints dash slightly faded impressions of the work you have made on the glass once the first print is taken. There is no need for a press although one can be used, such as an etching or vertical pressure relief print press. The results can be surprising, subtle, dramatic and painterly, all depending on how you work with this adaptable and exciting method of image making. Still there are many questions regarding who invented the monotype art, but it is a unique and amazing way of making ultimate and abstract paintings. Important point is the no expertise is required to do this art even your kids can do it easily and the painting looks like a work of a good artist. Draw a pattern on a smooth surface, glass, for example. Then make an imprint by holding a sheet of paper over the painted glass. To make it blurry, soak the paper in advance. When the image dries, you can add any details you want. Trust me when I got to know this technique, it was life savior and fun too. The most easiest technique or drawing something amazing is. Number 1. Frittage. It was developed by surrealist artist Max Ernst in 1925. Ernst was inspired by an ancient wooden floor where the grain of the planks had been accentuated by many years of scrubbing. The patterns of the graining suggested strange images to him. He captured these by laying sheets of paper on the floor and then rubbing over them with a soft pencil. This technique is learned early on and loved by many children. Simply place a textured object under a sheet of paper and cover it with pastel paints, crayons or a blunt pencil. 
Materials used to create the texture are limited only by your imagination. Thin plastic, such as dry cleaner bags or plastic food wrap, works well, as do inexpensive drop cloths. You can also experiment with highly textured fabrics such as burlap or lace. It's up to you and your kid's imagination. The drawing can be left as it is or used as the basis for further refinement. While superficially similar to brass rubbing and other forms of rubbing intended to reproduce an existing subject, and in fact sometimes being used as an alternative term for it, frottage implies using this rubbing technique to create an original image. Hope you like our picks. Try each of them with your kid and tell us your experience in the comment box below. Also, do not forget to like and share this video to friends and family. You can enjoy more such clips on our channel. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.